Hello, hello. What is up, everybody? My name is Mike Brown, aka Review King MB. Which is interesting, though. You saw it as a kid and you were bored? Hey, it's Cody. Whoa. This has been a film that I have had on my radar, have had on my to do list. One of these days, I said I would watch. Selma, and I finally have. Selma is a 2014 film. Ten years ago, this goddamn movie came out. Where did that time go? I remember seeing trailers for this movie when it was coming out. This was directed by Ava DuVernay, which I don't know if this was her first movie, but this was definitely a movie that put her name out there. And the film, it's... Obviously, based on a true story, based on the march from 1965 from Selma to Montgomery, it's involved with the voting rights for black people. They were trying to get the right to vote, and it covers Martin Luther King, mostly his involvement with trying to make this happen. David Oyelowo plays Martin Luther King, and I gotta say, first of all, it took me a couple minutes to uh, say that, all right, because I knew this actor from other stuff. You know what I mean? So it took me a second to be like, all right, he's playing Martin Luther King. But once I heard his voice, once I heard his, his, his demeanor and his stature when he walked into a room and just sort of took control, and he became Martin Luther King. He became the real guy. Very quick, I was like, yeah, no, this is Martin Luther King. I wasn't even thinking about the actor anymore. That's how great of a job he did. I just think his performance all the way around was great. And I like that he has that presence of Martin Luther King is a good man, is a man that obviously did good things and is praised for all of the right reasons. But this movie touching on his flaws as well. I was not expecting them to get into that. And I appreciated and respected the fact that like, as good as he was, he had a couple of stuff that maybe you can question. For example, his relationship. Coretta Scott King is played by Carmen Iogo. Um, and this actress was great. Her being somebody that was a good wife, devoted wife. Uh, loyal wife and then giving her the scenes that she had where she found out that he cheated on her and her reaction to that but how she continues to stand by him i'm not saying that uh, everybody should stand by somebody that cheats on them but it's just the way how they presented her as somebody who you saw her point of view you saw where she was coming from and you understood why she did what she did oprah winfrey i it's like she's the go-to person that you call whenever you want to do a movie of this nature she plays annie lee cooper who has a couple of scenes that were really messed up as well and before i go further i was at a point i probably reached this a few years ago where I got a little tired of black struggle movies. And it's not because I don't think these are stories that should be told. They should be told. Believe me, being black is something that I take pride in as far as the history and how far people have come and how hard they had to fight to get what they have today. So I am all about that. And don't get me wrong. But I've seen so much black struggle movies. I've seen so much movies of black people just being treated like shit you know what i mean after 12 years a slave i just got so depressed and so angry <laughs> that i kind of was like for my mental health i can only watch so much of this stuff i i'm glad that they still get made i think there are other people who maybe haven't seen as many as i have who need to continue to watch them and learn about certain shit that happened especially true story stuff like this and I appreciated watching this, learning as much as I did about a lot of the stuff that I didn't quite know about. So once I got into the story and got into everything that was going on, I was into it. But there are still those scenes where I feel a certain way, where I do get angry, where I do feel that amount of hatred that I feel when I think of the racism that 
did occur and still occurs to this day when you see the police in this movie and how they treat black people it, it's a hard watch you know what i mean i, I hope i'm explaining that right because i don't know if it came out as well but it's it's hard to watch movies like this. Tom Wilkinson plays President Lyndon B. Johnson, who, very interesting to see how, I don't know if I would say he was 100% racist, uh, but he also wasn't the most helping towards the cause either, right? He seemed like he wanted to sort of wipe his hands of everything. He just wanted it to go away. He wanted black people to stop sort of fighting for their rights, but he also wasn't behind the cops and the the officials, the politicians that were sort of working against uh, getting them what they wanted. And so seeing him try to navigate that and seeing him try to placate to both sides just to sort of end all of the bullshit. Tim Roth, who played George Wallace, I'm going to, it's going to take some time for me to not dislike Tim Roth. <laughs> he played this role too well. He was such a piece of shit. Other actors in this movie that I was pleasantly surprised to see. I mean, there's a lot of actors in this, like Common, who just randomly showed up. But especially actors like Coleman Domingo, who was great. Tessa Thompson, I was like, holy shit, cool. And also Lakeith Stanfield. I, you know, I don't know how well known he was at this time, but the role that he plays was very important and vital. Like I said, this movie might not be for everybody, right? Maybe there are some people who, well... If you're racist, then sure, fine, that's obvious. But again, it's a hard watch at points, but I do think it's very in informative. I do think it's an important movie. I do think it's a great movie. I was thoroughly impressed because I've seen other Ava DuVernay films after this that weren't quite as good. So to go back and see her earlier films that was this good, it's like, fuck yeah, she is a great director if given the right project. So guys, let me know in the comments below, not only what do you think of Selma, the movie, did you like it, but what do you think of how many black struggle movies get made? Does it get to be too much? Is it something that, are they Oscar bait, or is it trying to inform and tell good films about important subjects? Thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Later! Later!